let me tell you about the things I sold as a kid. And apart from things like odd jobs and selling Nintendo DS styluses, I did some crazy things. And the one I'm saving for last had all the adults in the street in a scare for a moment. The first thing I ever sold or slash marketed was dog whistles. Never in my life have I had a dog, but one day I was in the pet shop and I decided, you know, I want a dog whistle. Why? They make like ultra high sounds, which is cool. And I believe that somehow I kind of thought that I would be able to control all the dogs or something and I wanted to do that. So I purchased a dog whistle. It was actually one that wasn't too high pitched so humans could still hear it and it had this little wheel so you could actually change the pitch for certain whatever. I don't know. Basically, I bought one for about seven euros and I thought that was totally awesome. Awesome, and I went outside and showed my friends was like nine at a time and I showed them how awesome it is One of my friends had a dog who was very fond of playing with a pebble And it was a game with the dog to bury the pebble in some mud and it would dig it up and be like oh, I got the pebble That's so cool because you know dogs like to retrieve things So what I started doing is I put it on a certain frequency and every time the dog started digging for the pebble I did this certain tone on it until eventually the dog associated the tone with digging up the pebble So at some point we were standing somewhere in the street and I was like guys look because the dog was there and I did that frequency and it would run back all the way to the place with the mud and start to dig for its pebble even though we never buried it. And everyone was like, oh my god, that's so cool. And I, as kind of a marketing, promoting kind of person that I always was my whole life, was like, this whistle allows me to control all the dogs and everyone should definitely get one. It's, it's awesome, you should get one. It's only seven euros. But you know, seven euros as a kid was quite a bit, so everyone was like, oh man. I need that. So everyone, like I think nine kids, ran home and all asked their parents, uh, their parents, their parents for money. Their parents would be like, "What do you need seven euros for? What, what, what that? What's that for?" And they were all like, "Uh, I need to buy a dog whistle." And the parents didn't quite get why they would all need a dog whistle, cause except for that one kid, none of us had a dog. But you know, then they said like Quinton has one, and then they all realized because that wasn't actually the first thing stuff like that. The first time stuff like that happened, so everyone always wanted to get the stuff that I had because I promoted it in such a way that everyone wanted it. Oh, parents must have loved me. But a lot of parents didn't want to give the kids money, so what they were gonna do were odd jobs. So they would ring the doorbells in everyone in the neighborhood, can I sweep your front porch thing for 20 cents? And uh, they'd be like, sure. So kids would start to, to build up their own money until they all had seven euros, and then everyone in the whole street started walking around with a dog whistle. But since it was still something that you could hear, everyone in the street was like, beep, 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 beep. Actual dogs must have gone crazy and also the people that were able to hear the tones. Now up to something crazier. I was staying the weekend at my father's house and at my father's house there is a ditch. In the ditch there were some ditch water plants growing that closely resembled, according to me, leek. You know, the vegetable. I thought it looked exact- I thought it leaked <laughs> exactly like it. So I told my friends, hey, you know how we can make some money? We just pick those plants out of the ditch, like maybe scrape off the mud and water at the bottom, ring people's doorbells and ask them if they want to buy leek. And they were like, are you sure it's leek? And I was like, ah, yeah. So that evening I was eating rice or something or, or Chinese food and there was pieces of leek in it. So I was like, hmm, in order to compare it, I should probably keep this piece of leek. So during the entire dinner of like, an hour because I eat like super slow. I had a piece of leek in my hand like under the table like because you know I, I didn't want my father to be like why why are you why are you keeping that piece of leek or something like that so I kept it with me so afterwards I went there we cut open one of those plants and we're like yeah you know the inside seems this to be the same structure this is probably the exact same thing this is definitely definitely leek and we should definitely sell this so we picked like five of them and we just like dragged them over the over the ground because they were pretty long and we were pretty small at the time so we rang the door bells and we were like primarily me because no one else wanted to do this and I was like hello ma'am do you want to buy some link that's exactly what I sounded like by the way but a lot of people didn't actually open or they were like no no I'm good because they were able to see that it wasn't exactly leak. Then no one gave it away. I think the the, the mud that was dripping out of it did, did somehow made them reluctant to buy it. Maybe. So yeah, we surprised. Didn't even sell one of our leaks. Leak. What's the plural? Hey Siri, what's the plural of leak? Yeah, I definitely want to have the Wikipedia page about that. Thank you. I'm actually really glad after all that pe none of the people actually bought it because I was thinking about it years later and I thought, what if people actually were dumb enough to buy it? cut it up, boil it, and they were eating it at supper being like, okay. Then again, who is dumb enough to, 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 to buy vegetables from random kids at their door anyway? Don't think many people would do that. And now, the weirdest, the craziest, the one that had all the parents and adults in our street a little shook at the time. Me and my friends went around the park, this park that I'm still living at right now. There were some random plants that were sprouting at 
certain locations within the park. And I was like, those those look kind of cool. They had these purplish flowers on there. And we were like, you know what? Those are cool. And I said, you know what? We'll pick them and we'll sell them at people's door. Well, this is a leak story all over again. But um, we were picking them. We were ringing people's door. But do you want to buy this? Do you want to buy this? They're, they're nice. They have flowers. People like flowers. Buy them. People didn't buy them. Or maybe some people were like, yeah, sure. Here, you have 10 cents. And we'd be like, 10 cents. Oh my God. And they'd be like, okay, this is cool. So at some point, we came to one of my neighbors and we were like, hey, do you want to buy some of our plants and he was like oh my god kids those are drug plants and we were like oh sorry what he was like someone must have planted these in the park because these are drug plants you should definitely get rid of that right now and wash your hands so we were like oh my god so we did that we discarded them everyone ran home told their parents washed their hands parents were like oh my god what happened there's drug plants what where so um i believe that i showed my mom or i took her into the park to show where we found it or something because people and, and, and adults were to check it out or or we like googled it or had a biology book or something but basically people were all like that's that's crazy well, who's planning that in our park there are kids here you can't do that so we looked and it was totally normal weed as in a weed as in you know oh there's some weeds growing in my yard let's remove those no drugs or hallucinating stuff at all and now that i'm older and actually know you know the difference between certain plants they look absolutely nothing like why well, i'm not actually sure because he said a specific kind of kind of narcotics that i don't know but it's it's nothing like any of that it's just a very common thing that just sprouts at some places but the thing was I, I thought maybe he had, he had trolled us or something or made a joke but he actually full-on believed that that was like a drug plant that we accidentally picked and we should all wash our hands and everything I mean I was definitely not gonna pick any more plants randomly but you know those were the stories of what I was trying to sell when I was a kid and also the story of how I almost sort of not really became an accidental drug dealer Whoa! I sure had a crazy childhood, but I never actually lost my joy of marketing and selling things because it's still a thing that I really like to do. So please let me know down below in the comments. Uh, were, did you do odd jobs as a kid? Was there stuff you tried to sell? Did you want to start a business when you were little? And if you're new here, I would love to have you subscribe to this channel. Here on Saturday, I post something to get you to know each other a little bit better, like a comedic story like this. And on Wednesday, I post a comedy video solely to entertain you. All of that because I want to light up your day because I believe that comedy can really bring a positive impact into your life. But above all, I really hope you liked this video and I would love to see you next time.